Good afternoon and welcome to the COVID-19 update on Channels Television. I'm Millicent Walker. It's a 30-minute daily update on the coronavirus pandemic in Nigeria and across the world. First, some of the highlights. Today, President Buhari urges Christians to remain steadfast during Easter in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. COVID-19 spreads to 16 states plus the Federal Capital Territory. Happy Good Friday to all Christians and in view of the COVID-19 pandemic, we hope that it abates quickly and our lives can return to normal. Now, that is also the message of hope President Muhammad Buhari brings to all Nigerians this period. In his Easter message, he joins the majority of Christians who find themselves marking Easter in a subdued manner away from the usual congregation in churches. He says, this is unusual and very unfortunate. The president, however, says, uh, quote, I wish to enjoin our Christian compatriots to rekindle their faith in Christ, who overcame persecution, sufferings, and displayed endurance, steadfastness, and above all, piety. He asks all to imbibe and live the values of humility, discipline, perseverance, sacrifice, and obedience, which Jesus Christ demonstrated during his stay on earth. He used the occasion to commend the encouraging containment and ameliorating strategies put in place by members of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19. In the meantime, those on the front line in the fight against COVID-19 are unrelenting even as the figures of positive cases continue to rise. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, confirmed 14 cases of COVID-19 last night with 13 new cases in Lagos, one in Delta State, bringing the total number of confirmed cases in the country to 288 and the states affected in the country to 16 as well as the FCT. A breakdown of the cases uh, in each of the states puts Lagos at 158 cases, Abuja 54, Oshu 20, Edo State 12 cases, Oyo 11, Bocha has 6 cases, Akwaibo and Kaduna 5 each, 4 in Ogun State, while Enugu, Ekiti, Kwara, Rivers and Delta each have 2 cases with Undo, Benue, Katsina states recording one case each. 51 persons have been discharged and seven deaths recorded. We have only three active cases in Bauchi, one discharge, there is no death, and currently... Now, the governor of Bochi State, who has now tested negative for COVID-19, made his first public appearance in Bochi Township. Governor Bala Mohammed had announced on his Twitter handle that a second test for the disease returned negative. He was the first governor in the country and the first person in Bochi State to test positive to COVID-19. Our correspondent, Hadra Aliu, tells us more. This is the official residence of the Bochi State Governor. It was in this building he spent 17 days in isolation and had enough strength to recover from COVID-19. The Governor has made his first public appearance last night where he addressed journalists. He described his experience as a terrible one and a trial, having suffered COVID-19 the same time his brother was kidnapped. I'm sorry for any inconveniences that I might have caused anybody in Bauchi or in Nigeria. It is not my wish to be infected. But sadly, this has shown me enormous love, respect and regard to myself and to my family. The double jeopardy that I had had to go where my brother was also arrested or kidnapped has also shown me so much love and prayers. I thank, I thank the people of Bauchi. I thank the people of Nigeria, especially our supporters, for their prayers. And whatever they have done, they have kept vigil, they have offered sacrifices and sadaka, and they have done so much. I have a plurality of calls from high and low, and I am so emboldened and humbled. I have now no leadership, it's a burden. And I am really ready to work in a better and more informed position because my solitary position has almost made me a monk, but not in the sense of uh, the Chinese uh, adage. It has made me to reflect, it has made me to think, and to see things from various perspectives, and to even strategize. 
The Bochi state governor hasn't said when he would resume official duties proper, but what we know for now is that he will be leading the social distancing campaign by example. He has asked people not to come and felicitate with him. A call or a message would do. You don't have to come in person. From the official residence of the Bochi state governor, Hajira Aliu, Channels Television. Well, for more on the measures to curb in COVID-19, joining us in the studio is Dr. Kayode Adebayo. He's the immediate past chairman, Nigeria Medical Association, NMA. Thank you for joining us on the program. Thank you very much, madam. All right, we're seeing good news coming there from uh, Bochi State. Yes, and, yes. And several others in Lagos as well. We have the total number, 55 cases that have been discharged. But tell us, because we're also recording newer cases, Lagos 13 as of last night. And um, I remember the Minister of State for Health talking about how some people uh, withholding information about symptoms or perhaps even their travel history. Um, how does this greet you? Well, thanks so much. I really rejoice with our governor, the governor of Aoshi State, for that uh, good recovery. The major problem we are facing now is patients that have obvious symptoms of COVID-19 hiding at home just because they want to avoid stigmatization. I remember a week ago, someone called and said, oh, if I get there now, they would show me on the televisions and my name would be on the newspapers. And I asked him one question. As at that time, they have discharged more than 10 people. I said, could you please tell me the name of one person that has been discharged? He said, no. I said, yes. The ethic of medicine is being upheld strictly. Your privacy, your medical privacy is totally kept. If you see the governor announcing in Lagos State, oh, today we have discharged seven, today you have discharged five, he will never mention that, oh, today we just discharged Mary, Shuku, or something. No. You see, if you look at it very well, Nigeria has the best um, results so far. To every 41 uh, positive Nigeria, we only lost to one, if you look at that statistics. When you look at the U.S., the, in America, to every four, they lost one. When you look at the global statistics, to every 16, we lost one. So you cannot see that whatever is working for us, we should just join hand to do more on it. Um, if you look at those, uh, the value of death is seven. We couldn't have about to seven. But three of them, we say... Tell their, uh, their history, traveling history, and everything until they're almost at the point of the one die a few hours on, on admission to the hospital. You see, like I said, when I was discussing with someone on, about the issue, you have this infection. If you present early, they're going to assess the body system. Somebody has malaria, two pluses, poor appetite, oh, now has this infection. Stay at home, did not drink water for two, three days, did not eat for two, three days. Obviously, we're going to have more complications. But when the patient presents early, there is tendency for us to take adequate care and look at other parameters. Take, for instance, one of them that actually died, had a kidney problem. If he has presented early, oh, yeah. the renal unit will have taken care of the kidney issue and the issue of the recovery from the virus could have been easier because there should have been enough support for the health or the body system to recover from the virus infection. So having it, adequate knowledge, that's a, yes. an important factor. So, yes. but, but tell us about, you know, Lagos State, you know, going a step further with the active case search and going from door to door to ask questions and make inquiries. Yes. The only thing we could beg people for is just say the truth. Because now we have people who travels and said, no, they've not been out of this country for the past six months, which is not true. They just came back two weeks ago. Some live with someone that just arrived from UK, and he knew that this person has these symptoms and is already isolated. You quickly said, no, 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 no. I've been alone. So we need true history. Then when you see any of these symptoms that, oh, you have cough and all that, it does not mean that it's going to be. Uh, coronavirus infection, but it's better to present 
Just like last week, I had a patient that had a cardiac problem and he felt that because of cough and all that and he has a history of regular travel and all that, he's a friend's wife. I just called and said, okay, you need to go and do the test. And the test shows negative. And he, took, he, 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 he met with the cardiologist and now, a few days ago, he told me, oh, it's very fine now. So we need to educate that. Unfortunately, even well-educated people are afraid of coming out to do this test. They are afraid of presenting when they have the obvious symptoms. How do we help the system then? The government is doing what they could. It's just left for us to, to also cooperate with the government. You see, we can go from house to house, but you only see people they presented to you. The other side, we could also, though government is doing well, we could also beg government to do more. So we need to do more tests. Because if we do more tests, there is possibility that these values might not actually be the true value. That's a lot of doctors who say the value may not likely be the true value. You're saying it may be more? Yes, it may be more. But the fact is that we know that Nigeria is over 200 million. We can't do tests for everybody. But if we do tests for more people who have... Okay, in a house, you know the way we live in our setup? We need to look at our setup. This is not uh, you, you, uh, United Kingdom where a man, the wife, and the, the daughter or a son in the house. You have somebody, you live in a, in a room of 16, 17 people living together in the room. Okay, and also in a house, face me, I face you, we can count over 200 people in this house. Mm. If one person is positive in that house, I think government should just please let us test others to be on the same side. So more testing. Yes, because even the non-symptomatic patient can also transfer to another person easily. We appreciate your time, Dr. Kayade Adebayo, immediate past chairman, Nigerian Medical Association, NMA. Thank you for joining us Thanks on the so program. Thanks so much. Yeah. To all the stories on COVID-19, the wife of the president, Mrs. Aisha Buhari, has donated relief materials through her foundation, Future Assured, to the Edo State Government as part of efforts to mitigate the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic in the state. Uh, the wife of the Edo State Governor, Mrs. Betsy Obaseki, who handed over the items on behalf of Mrs. Buhari, said the timing is right in view of the hardship brought upon many by the coronavirus outbreak in the country. She said the relief items, uh, which includes bags of rice, medical supplies, were initially meant for Christmas and New Year celebrations, but arrived late for distribution at the time. In the meantime, to ensure compliance to the stay-at-home directive, the Commissioner of Edo State, Mr. Lawan Jemeta, has been visiting locations around Benin City for an on-the-spot assessment. He told journalists that the restriction order is not punitive and is in the best interest of all. Yes, we are trying to enforce it but uh, with civility, telling people, appealing to their conscience uh, and making them to know that Whatever the government is doing is for everybody. It's not uh, that whether it's punitive or it's uh, selective. It's for everybody. Because this is a, a, a dreaded disease that you won't know if somebody has. And um, all these public places are places where if somebody that has, he has the capacity to infect a lot of people. So that is what uh, the government is trying to do, and that is what we are trying to enforce. Uh, compliance, I believe, as uh, the days run by, we'll be able to have uh, full compliance. In Benin here, this uh, face mask, the, the surgical face mask, that used to be 15 Naira, now sometimes it's even up to, up to 500 Naira. And that is, you know, you have seen the way people are complaining that they don't have even, uh, you know, toggles of buying face masks. But... Uh, there are other means. You don't need to use the, the surgical face mask. You can use your handkerchief. You can use uh, other clothes. You've seen that it has been uh, out now in vogue. Now, one of the states fortunate to remain COVID-19 free in Nigeria is Abia State. But not minding this, the governor, Ukezik Prazu, already put together an isolation center in preparation. The governor visited the facility known as the Amatara Isolation Center in Umwahia and also the state food bank, the government house Umwahia. <laughs> The 
Still to come on the COVID-19 update, the number of COVID-19 deaths globally approaches 100,000. We have more on that. Do join us again. Welcome back. And in the South-South region, the Bayasa State government's relaxed its COVID-19 lockdown measures for the period of Easter following an appeal by the state organs of various Christian bodies. Here's our correspondent, Dobra Timiwood, with more. Even though Bayelsa State wasn't part of the states that experienced a complete lockdown due to the outbreak of the coronavirus, Bayelsa State experienced its own fair share of it as there was lockdown at the borders, partial closure at the markets, complete lockdown at the schools. Even religious and social gatherings had their share of it as every religious and social activity was halted. Now the state governor, Senator Doye Diri, has announced permission for Christians to gather on Sunday in view of the Easter celebration. He has also directed that immediately after the Easter celebration, everything returns to status quo. That means the lockdown will continue and it will be reviewed in two weeks' time. Now, this is how Bielsen's reacted to the news. We appreciate his sensitivity. Uh, we are eager to go to church, and, uh, but at the same time, we, we would like to keep to the rules. And for him to graciously permit officially the churches and uh, other religious organizations could uh, gather and worship. That's very good. Big churches should be 50, smaller churches should be 20. It's a good thing so that God's presence is in the, is, should be in anywhere, everywhere. I want to also say that uh, those churches should also uh, keep dim feet of the major principles that are going on by washing their hands, using the sanitizers in order not to spread the virus around. I, I think it's a good thing. We're here in Bielsa to give you updates on how Bielsans will celebrate Easter Sunday and everything that comes up regarding the coronavirus. Deborah Timiwood, Channel Television News. Delta State, where news there says the resident doctors in Asaba, the capital, have shut down all their services. The doctors are protesting what they describe as incessant molestation and harassment by the Nigerian police. According to the president of the Association of Resident Doctors, Federal Medical Center, Asaba Chapter, at a press briefing, the action is necessary in order to critically analyze and correct an alleged intimidation by police against their members, especially during the lockdown period. Period. In the meantime, the State Commissioner of Police, Afiz um, Inua, has pleaded with the group to rescind their decisions as the matter is currently being resolved. Now, even though the weekend ushers in Easter celebrations for the Christian faithful, most states will be recording a quiet celebration. This is in the midst of the lockdown measures in place. Like Katsina State, for example, Governor Aminu Masari has lifted the suspension of Sunday church services in review of the measures taken to curb the spread of COVID-19 in the state. In a statement signed on Thursday by the Secretary to the Government, uh, Dr. Mustafa Inua, church services should hold, but within a short period and under stipulated health and security guidelines, after which due consultations are agreed to be conducted within one hour. The government strongly advises people in the state to maintain social distancing and strictly adhere to all rules and regulations provided by health experts in fighting the disease. For the Sokoto State Government, it is an extension of the closure of its interstate entry points order in continuation of its efforts to fighting the pandemic. Chairman of the state's task force on COVID-19 and Commissioner for Health, Dr. Mohamed Ali Name, announced the extension while addressing journalists after the stakeholders' meeting to review the initial two weeks closure of the state's entry points. The state government had earlier announced the closure of all the entry points into the state and asked civil servants from grade level 12 downward to work from home. 
over to the nation's capital, Abuja. The president of Senate, Ahmed Lawan, says there is a lack of coordination in the management of donations from corporate organizations to address the COVID-19 pandemic. This is as the secretary to the government of the Federation bemoans the state of Nigeria's health sector. Both positions were put forward at a meeting between the leadership of the National Assembly and the COVID-19 Presidential Task Force. Let's go over to Adamawa State, where the COVID-19 Compliance Committee has appealed to the federal government to allow the federal medical center, Yola, to run tests on suspected COVID cases in the state. This was made by the Adamawa State Commissioner for Health and Hannah Affairs in the state capital while giving an update on the pandemic. According to the commissioner, the laboratory facilities at the Federal Medical Center is optimal and can successfully conduct tests on suspected cases without going through the rigors of sending samples to Abuja. And to the southwest Ogun state, where the government has assured individuals, religious organizations, corporate bodies who have donated medical equipment, ambulances, other relief materials for the purpose of managing the pandemic in the state of its judicious use. The deputy governor of the state also maintained that the gifts would go a long way in improving the health care services of the state, as well as alleviating some of the challenges occasioned by the stay-at-home directive. Well, Kaduna State Government, they have ordered the immediate closure of all major highways and entry points in to effectively stop the chances of the disease spreading further. Now, the State Deputy Governor, uh, in her weekly broadcast, ordered security operatives to block the inbound and outbound sections of the Kaduna Abuja Expressway and other major highways in the state. Our correspondent, Chimeze Nyocha, has the details. It is the second week of the indefinite lockdown imposed by the Kaduna State Government as part of measures to reduce the spread of COVID-19 pandemic in the state. But the government is not happy that its quarantine order was serially violated in some parts of the state. And because of that, it has mandated security operatives to enforce total compliance. And enforcement of this directive is evident here in most parts of the state capital and the Abuja Kaduna Highway and other major roads in the, across the state as soldiers have been deployed to complement the efforts of other security agencies. Sadly, most passengers along the highways are not still complying with the lockdown or adhering to government's social distancing directive as many of them still cram themselves inside commercial buses without recourse to the consequences, many of them without nose mask or even hand gloves. The risk assessment conducted by medical experts show that the Kaduna State will record fewer cases of COVID-19 if all the preventive measures are properly implemented. But again, the state also stands the risk of recording more cases of the epidemic should their people waver and not by all the safety tips and preventive measures that have been put in place by NCDC. Chimezie Enyacha reporting for China's television news. And with the charge of protecting the health of Nigerians, the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, has live updates, information, statistics of cases, uh, states across the country. With regular updates on COVID-19 regulations, several guidelines as to how to effectively self-isolate and what it means by social distancing. You can also access emergency contacts as well if you need to. Over at the World Health Organization's website, live updates of the pandemic and each moment, depending on what part of the world you're in, it keeps updating the number of cases, the number of deaths and the recovery efforts so far. You can take a closer look at some of the numbers in real time. And that's our COVID-19 special edition on Channels Television. Thank you for watching. Another 30 minutes update uh, comes up at 6 p.m. Do join us then. I'm Millicent Walker. Bye for now.